Hello and welcome to another Let's Draw tutorial with Procreate. This is the illustration we'll be completing today. And as always, I've provided a brush pack and color palette for you to download. I've also included a sketch as well, and you'll find those all in the description below. The canvas size is 2,500 pixels by 2,500 pixels at 300 dpi. And when you're ready, let's draw. Once we've created our canvas, the first thing we're going to do is change the color of our background. So let's head over to our layers menu by tapping on the two squares here. We're gonna select background color, and then we're gonna select the first color in the first row, and then tap on the two squares to come out of that menu. The next step is to import our sketch onto our canvas. So let's head over to our wrench icon. We need to go over to add, go to insert file, I've saved mine to my iPad and I'm going to tap on the sketch and now that will import directly onto our canvas where we need it to be. We just need to lower the opacity a little bit because it's a bit too strong. So let's go over to our layers. We're going to tap on that end for layer one and then we're going to move this node here to the left until we get to, let's say, 15% and then tap on the layer when we're done. We're then gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer, and we're gonna drag this layer underneath our sketch. And now we're gonna activate the symmetry tool. So let's go over to our wrench icon. We need to go to canvas. We're gonna to toggle drawing guide and then go to edit drawing guide. We're gonna select symmetry. And then by default, you should see that vertical line running down the center. So now whatever we draw on one half of the canvas, it will reflect on the other as well. Essentially halving our workload and then tap done when you're done. We're gonna start off by drawing in our petals. Let's pick the right color for that. So we need to go to our color palette and select the third color in the top row. We're gonna to go to our brush set and just make sure we're on the dry ink brush. I've got the opacity here set to 100% and the size is set to 20%. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna follow the sketch. And then I'm gonna follow the sketch here and here as well too. And don't worry if it's not following the sketch exactly, we can just make some adjustments with the liquify tool in a moment. We're just gonna now grab this color and we're gonna flood fill our petals, adjusting the color drop threshold by sliding your pencil from left to right. Let's go over to our magic wand tool and then select liquify. I've got it in push mode with distortion and momentum set to none. I've got pressure set to max and the size, I've got around 60%, but we can play with that. I'm just gonna move this around like so, and then reduce that size down to let's say 50%. And then we can just move our petals to fit the sketch a little bit better. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly to the sketch. It's there as a guide. And then we can tap on the magic wand tool when we're done. We're then gonna start adding in these details for our petals. So let's go over to our layers. We're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna switch out our color to that first color in the first row. We're gonna bring the brush size down to 7%, still at full opacity. And then we're just gonna draw in this line here. We're then gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna tap on layer three and we're going to draw and assist it. And then we're gonna draw in these lines here as well. We're then gonna go over to our layers. We're gonna tap on the end and just lower that opacity down of those lines to roughly around 70% because they were a little bit too bright. We're then gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer and we're gonna drag this underneath. So it's sitting on top of layer two, but underneath our lines. We're gonna tap on this layer. We're going to draw and assist it. We're gonna tap on it and clip and mask it. We're gonna tap on the end and scroll up to multiply. We're gonna switch out our color now to that third color in the top row. We're gonna switch out our brush to the speckled shader. I've got the opacity set to 100% and the size is set to 45%. And we're just gonna add in some shadows behind these lines. So I'm gonna start here and just adding in this textured shadow and here as well. Just making multiple strokes and then here too. We're then gonna reduce that size down to 20%. And I just wanna add in a little bit of a shadow here at the top where our B is sitting. And then just in between 
the petals here too. We're then gonna go back to Wallows. I'm gonna tap on the M here and I'm just gonna reduce the opacity down to roughly around 80%. We're then gonna tap the pass sign for a new layer. And we're gonna drag this layer five underneath our petals. We're gonna switch out our color now to that first color in the second row. We're gonna switch out our brush to the dry ink brush. I'm gonna bring the size back up to 20% and the opacity is still at 100. I'm gonna draw in a circle, holding your pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And you can tap one finger on the canvas just to make it perfectly round. And then we can drag and drop that color in. I'm gonna to go to my arrow tool. With uniform and snapping selected, I'm just gonna make sure that's sitting in the vertical center and you should see that orange line running down the middle. We're then gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna tap on that layer five and draw and assist it. We're gonna go over to our magic wand tool and liquefy. And again, in push mode, we're just gonna adjust the shape of our bee's body just to follow the sketch a little bit. So until we've got something that looks like this, we're then gonna go back to our layers, we're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on this layer, we're gonna clip and mask it. We're gonna tap on it again and draw and assist it. We're gonna switch out our color now to the third color in the second row. I'm gonna bring the brush size down to 12%, at full opacity. And I'm just gonna pinch with two fingers and zoom in and rotate the canvas. because so we're gonna start drawing in his stripes. I'm gonna start here and then go from edge to edge and then hold my pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And then again here, holding my pencil in place. And then we can close that shape here on the edges. You can drag and drop that color in, adjusting the color drop threshold as needed. And you can fill in any gaps as well. We're then gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna to slide to the left and duplicate this layer. Go to our arrow tool and then we're gonna drag this down to sit roughly about here. Let's go back to our layers and we can actually pinch these two layers together. We're then going to draw in his eyes. So let's draw in a circle here. Hold your pencil in place to snap to the quick shape and then tap one finger on the canvas. We can actually fill that in by hand. I'm then going to reduce the size even more to about 7% so we can draw in his mouth. So we're going to start here and draw in a horizontal line holding your pencil in place, and you can tap one finger on the canvas to make it strictly horizontal. We're then gonna draw in a semicircle here. Again, hold your pencil in place, and then we can drag and drop that color in. We're then gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna tap on that layer six, and we're gonna remove the drawing assist. We're gonna tap on that layer again, and we're gonna alpha lock it. We're gonna switch out our color now to that last color in the bottom row, and then we're just gonna draw in his tongue here. And then again, we can fill that in by hand. Just increase the brush size there. And now we've got his mouth all completed. We just need to add in some highlights for his eyes. So let's go over to our layers. We're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna switch out our color to that first color in the first row. I'm gonna bring the brush size down to 7% at full opacity still. And then we're gonna draw in a circle here. I'm holding my pencil in place, snap to the quick shape, and then tap one finger on the canvas. Then we can fill that in by hand. And then we can add a little tiny one here as well. We're then gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna slide this layer to the left and duplicate it. We're gonna go over to our arrow tool. With uniform and snapping turned on, we're gonna move this one over to the left-hand side. And you should see those three blue horizontal lines to show that you are aligned with these highlights here and then tap on the arrow when you're done. We can then start adding in his antlers. So let's switch out our color back to that third color in the second row. We're gonna go back to our layers and pinch these three layers together. We're then gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on this layer and we're gonna draw and assist it. And then we can start drawing in his antlers here. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly to the sketch, it's only there as a guide. We're then gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna to go to layer five again and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on this layer and we're gonna join assist it. We're gonna switch out our color to the second color in the second row. We're gonna switch out our brush now to the speckled shader. And I'm gonna bring the size back up to 45% at full opacity. 
And we're just gonna start adding in some shadows here on the sides of our B and here as well. We're then gonna reduce that size down to 5% and I'm gonna pinch with two fingers and zoom in here. And we can just add in a bit of a shadow underneath his eyes. We're then gonna switch out our color to that first color in the top row. And then we're just gonna add in a bit of a highlight here at the top of his eyes as well. It's ever so subtle, but it's there. And now we're gonna add in his cheeks. So let's switch out our color now to that second color in the second row. Switch out our brush to the dry ink brush. And again, I've got the size still set to 7% at full opacity. We're just gonna draw in an oval here. Hold your pencil in place to snap to the quick shape and we can drag and drop that color in. Now let's add in his little hands here. So let's go back to our layers. We're gonna to go to that top layer three here and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on this layer, we're gonna draw and assist it. We're gonna switch out our color to that third color in the second row. We're gonna draw in an oval here, close the shape, and then drag and drop that color in. I'm gonna pinch with two fingers just to zoom out again. And now we're ready to draw in his wings. So let's go over to our layers. Let's go back to layer five and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna drag this underneath layer five. We're gonna tap on it and draw and assist it. We're gonna switch out our color to that last color in the top row. I'm gonna bring the size of our brush back up to 20% at full opacity. And we're gonna draw in an oval here, holding your pencil in place to snap to the quick shape. And if you need to, just tap on Edit Ellipse and you can pull these nodes around just to move them around and adjust the shape. And then tap back on the brush and we're gonna draw in another oval here. Again, closing the shape, going to Edit Ellipse and then we can move that around like so. And once you've done that, we're just gonna drag and drop the color into his wings there. We're gonna go to our layers and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna tap on this layer, we're gonna clip and mask it. We're gonna tap on the layer and draw and assist it. We're gonna tap on the end and we're gonna scroll up to multiply. We're gonna switch out our brush now to the speckled shader. I'm gonna bring the size up to 45% at full opacity. And then we're gonna just start adding in some shadow here on his wings. And I'm concentrating the shadow closer to his body. And then here as well at the bottom. We can then go back to our layers. We're gonna to slide to the left and duplicate it. We're gonna go over to our arrow tool with uniform turned on and snap in as well. We're going to grab this bottom node here and we're just gonna make that one a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna pop that back into the vertical center. And you should see that orange line running down the center and that blue horizontal line as well. And then we can tap on the arrow when we're done. We're now actually ready to remove the sketch and that symmetry line. So let's get rid of the symmetry line first by going over to our wrench icon. We need to be on canvas and then we can just toggle that visibility. Let's go back to our layers. We're gonna tap on that top layer one and then just toggle that visibility there. We're then gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer and we're gonna drag this right underneath his wings we're then gonna switch out our color to the second color in the top row. We're gonna go over to our brush set and we're gonna set the leaf stamp. I've got the opacity and size set to 100%. I'm just gonna zoom out ever so slightly by pinching with two fingers. And we're gonna tap away on the canvas, adding in these leaves. We can then go to our layers. We're gonna tap on the end and we're gonna reduce the opacity down to let's say 75%. We're then gonna go over to our magic wand tool Gaussian Blur, and then we're gonna slide our pencil from left to right until we get to around the 10% mark. And we can tap on the magic wand tool when we're done. And if we pinch with two fingers and go full screen with four, that's today's tutorial complete. Thank you so much for following till the end. I hope you had fun with this tutorial. Please do come and share your designs with me over on Instagram as I really love seeing them. Don't forget to tag me in so I see them. And then I'll give you a shout out to my stories as well. 
I'll leave a link to all of my socials in the description below, along with my Patreon page too. And you can come and join me over there with a seven day free trial and you can unlock some exclusive Procreate content too. Thank you all so much for your kindness and support. It really means a lot to me. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.